Hey, what's up, Internet? I'm, uh, I'm Paul, and we are playing Limbo. Welcome to the Team Galactic Tactic Collaboration Channel, which is also the main base for the Team Galactic Tactic League of Legends team. Uh, so Limbo is an indie game, and you are a kid, and you pretty much run through Limbo, and there's like puzzles, and it actually gets quite difficult. It won Indie Game of the Year 2010, and I've actually played through it a couple of times and enjoyed it each time. Uh, dang it, start off with a bit about me, and how I got into gaming. I got into gaming when I was about six, and my older brother Cal, he, uh, he started playing Pokemon Ruby, which of course I thought looked awesome. So, for Christmas, my mom bought Pokemon Sapphire and Pokemon Emerald. Now, I ended up getting Pokemon Sapphire, and I'm really glad I did, because that spawned my love of water Pokemon, for one thing. Also, I think I find uh, Emerald quite a bit more difficult, so that helped. Anyway, so I put I completely obsessed over Pokemon for quite a long time. I got really, really good. I got really good Pokemon. I played through the games many times, never got bored. And then I got into some other games also. Uh, uh, when the Wii came out, every guy seemed to be getting it. And I actually didn't know anything about the Wii. You see, I was just this little kid playing Pokemon on his uh, Game Boy Advance. And uh, I didn't know much about gaming at all. Uh, I, I didn't know anything about other systems at all. So after going to a friend's house and playing the Wii, I thought it was very cool. Mainly because it was on the TV. I was used to handheld gaming, and this was, I found that it was a, a bit of a step up for things like graphics. So we got that, and uh, I played the Wii a lot. I actually got really into uh, Wii Sports Boxing. I remember getting a few characters to like max level on that. That was pretty fun. But uh, after that, um, I, uh, actually Cal decided that he, uh, he did not like the rule that we had in place where we weren't allowed to play violent video games, so he spent a little while actually managing to convince our parents to let us play violent video games, and that's when we bought the, and that is when we got the PS3, and the first game we got with the PS3 was uh called Killzone 2. And um the Killzone series is a PS3 exclusive and it was really awesome. Pretty much I think you're a, I don't know what you are. I don't know a lot about the game. I didn't play it too too much. But um you are fighting these things called Hellgas and you are a person and pretty much they're trying to kill you. And I really loved that game. Another game that we got, another PS3 exclusive was Little Big Planet. That was one that I really got into. I I played I played the crap out of that thing. I just played and played and played. But of course, soon enough, I got into another craze. In uh, well, a couple of years ago, I got into um, I was watching videos on the internet and. Uh, you saw some, I saw some people playing Minecraft, and I thought, well, that looks really awesome. So, after about two months of watching videos and learning about Minecraft, I started playing, I found out that, uh, you just go and play it online. Since I was a PC gaming noob, I, um, I didn't know that you could do that. The only PC gaming that I had done wasn't really PC gaming, I was just like flash games on the internet. So I looked it up and I started playing Minecraft Classic. And for anyone who doesn't know what Minecraft Classic is, it's like regular Minecraft, 
except um you have like there's no dying or anything it's like creative mode except without weapons it's like building it's it's just building blocks and um i found that really cool so for a while i just played classic got myself an account played a lot of that but pretty soon i decided i want i wanted the full version is of course if you play something enough and you enjoy it you're going to want to get the full version so i got the full version and i completely obsessed over that for a while and um still pretty obsessed with minecraft that's a phrase that never ended but that actually opened a lot of doors into uh new pc gaming for me because after watching a guy play minecraft on the internet it it gave me like links video links to other games so that is when i got my steam account so that was pretty good because it, there's just like endless games on it so then i got really into team fortress 2 now that was really fun because it, it uh there are these things in it called strange weapons and for anybody as it um often i think uh, one thing that I really enjoy about video games is the satisfaction of leveling up. That's what I, that's one of the things that I liked about Pokemon. I liked leveling up and getting more skillful at the game. So, there were these things called strange weapons, and pretty much you got them, and if you had a certain number of kills with them, you got, uh, you got a new title in front of it. So, the first one was strange, and then it was, like, unremarkable and stuff. But, of course, soon, uh, there was a new game that I liked playing. And that time, it was League of Legends. Uh, Cal came home one day, and he was like, uh, Hey, Paul, my friend was showing me this awesome game. It's called League of Legends. So, of course, since I usually follow after Cal quite a bit, I, uh, I, I got myself an account I started playing. And, uh, that, that just spawned my whole love of League of Legends. That, uh, then I played, uh, actually, I did something a little weird when I was playing that game. Uh, you can play against other people, or you can play against bots. I spend a very abnormal amount of time playing against bots, because I actually wasn't changing my strategy at all. I sucked. So then, of course, uh, there were, I got way back into Minecraft because we got, I think we got a server at that point, but of course that didn't last long either because the server broke. I got back into League of Legends, and then Cal actually fixed my strategy, thank you to him, and I got, uh, I started playing as real people, and that's when I fixed my playstyle. And, uh, that's pretty much my history with games. Now here, uh, this part in Limbo, I actually really like this part. Part of the, one of the bosses, well, like the boss type thing in this, is like, there's this weird spider. And he appears to be following you around. Because here you have to fight him, and then I think you have to fight him a few more times. But, uh, that thing, that spiky thing on the ground that I keep dragging around, that's called a bear trap. And, uh, pretty much anything that touches it will set it off. So here what I'm trying to do is, you'll notice that the, as I get closer, the spider's leg starts moving, and it tries to, uh, it tries to catch me. And it stabs down. So what I'm trying to do is drag the bear trap and attract the leg so that I can get the leg to land in the bear trap and cut it off which is actually pretty difficult because the leg is pretty unpredictable uh, a few things about this game that I also really like uh, you'll notice the fogginess that I find that that uh, it it uh, it actually really helps uh, it, it improves the game quite a bit because without too much detail, it allow I don't know, it just makes for, for me it makes for a better puzzle game. Just more, 
blunt features. So, uh... Anyway, I'm on an 18 kill streak in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 right now, and I'm really stressed out because I've never gotten a mo before, and right now I'm 6 kills off getting a mo. So that was Cal. Cal's sitting right by watching this epic Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 gameplay on in this new map I've never really played before. And I'm about to get a mo, but I'm freaking out right now, guys. So if I get your mortal support in killing tons of people with a semi-atomic bomb, that would be great. <laughs> Oh, there's something I didn't talk about. Call of Duty. When I got the PS3, pretty soon after, uh, I decided I wanted to, uh, well, we both decided that we wanted to play Call of Duty. So, that was around the time that Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 came out. So, when that happens, we ha when that happened, we both got pretty into the game. Cal, of course, got good at, at the game really fast, as he does with all games. Thank you. And I spent quite a bit of time sucking. And I still suck. Uh, so pretty much, we played that for a while. And I actually got really into YouTube commenta commentary. Uh, because I, I, for some reason, I don't get why commentary is interesting. Is you're watching somebody play a game that you could be playing. Such a parental thing to say. Well, that's the thing. I don't get why I enjoy it, but I do enjoy it. Um, yeah, okay, so, sorry Paul, I really can't save your ass right now. I'm kind of on a 21 kill streak in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 on the map offshore using the UMP-45 Skylands with specialist kill streaks. Oh my god, if I die right now, I'm gonna literally jump out the window. Holy shit. Okay. No! Fuck my life. I was on a 21 kill streak. That's something interesting about Call of Duty. And the latest one, uh, well, soon not to be the latest one. In Modern Warfare 3, there's this thing called the MOB. And the MOB is, um, I think it stands for Mother of All Bombs. And... It pre it kills everyone on the map, and you have to kill 25 people without dying. That wraps up this episode. Please tune in for the next one, and uh, please subscribe, like, comment. Uh, bye.